Madam Moderator, distinguished delegates and civil society representatives. I'm Datevik Khachatrian from Open Society Foundations, Armenia. The right to a fair trial is at the core of democratic and accountable governance. Protection of this fundamental right is provided in all international and regional human rights treaties, as well as in the constitutions of the OSCE member states. The Republic of Azerbaijan is not an exception here. Nevertheless, international human rights organizations continue to alarm about lack of independent courts, politically motivated trials, and dozens of political prisoners in Azerbaijan. In this chain of gross violations, I want to attract your attention to the issue of illegal prosecution by the Azerbaijani courts of one of the most vulnerable groups. More than five dozen Armenians, most of whom were taken captive after the November 9 ceasefire agreement, are standing fake and staged trials or have already been convicted in, Azerbaijan, in, in Azerbaijani courts on various charges. Azerbaijani authorities frequently refer to the captives as terrorists, while Armenia and international human rights organizations insist that the captured combatants should have been afforded prisoner of war status and returned to Armenia after hostilities ended. The recent repatriation of 17 Armenian POWs is not a gesture of goodwill, but an equivocal obligation under IHL. Statements were made by Human Rights Watch and other international organizations that Azerbaijan's prosecution of Armenian prisoners of war on illegal border crossing charges is a breach of Geneva Convention 3. The biased nature of the court, as well as absence of all possible fair trial guarantees and lack of transparency were demonstrated in a number of cases. On June 3, 2021, a sham trial of two Armenian POWs was held in Baku, with state prosecutors charging them from allegedly torturing Azerbaijani captives during the First Karabakh War in 1990s. On July 2, 2021, the trial of 14 Armenian military was held, who were accused of terrorism, sabotage, and other grave crimes. Journalists were not admitted to the trial. There were no independent monitors either. On June 25, 2021, at the Baku Grave Crimes Court, Judge Afghan Hajiev announced that the prisoners would face from 14 to 20 years of prison or life imprisonment for charges of terrorism, acquisition and keeping of weapons and explosive substances, creation of illegal armed groups and trespassing the state border. On the same day, a separate decision was issued for Viken el a Lebanese citizen of Armenian origin, who had moved to Armenia before. He was captured in Shushi, together with his wife, Maral Najarian, on the day following the signing of the ceasefire statement. Najarian, also a Lebanese Armenian, was released in March 2020, while El Jekchan was sentenced to 20 years in prison on charges of mercenary activity, terrorism, and illegal border crossing. Dozens of Armenian POWs illegally held in Baku were convicted and sentenced to various jail terms instead of immediate and unconditional repatriation to Armenia as prescribed by international humanitarian law. It's urgent that delegates of OSCE members... I'm sorry, but your time is up. Could you please conclude? ...to stop illegal criminal proceedings against the Armenian captives and prisoners of war held in Azerbaijan and ensure their immediate repatriation to Armenia. I thank you, Madam Moderator.